an AMD GPU. Um, if I open up my task manager, I've got my 6900 XT in here. Um, yeah, uh, and I'm just running a little i3 here. So it's not the biggest system in the world, but it should do fine for what we're going to do. So we're going to come here. We I just Googled um, or binged or whatever, Stable Diffusion Direct ML, because that's the backend we're going to use, because the other ones I've used Rock M, and that's a uh, Linux uh, exclusive. So the equivalent of that is Microsoft's Direct ML. So we're going to come here to the Stable Diffusion Web UI Direct ML. We're going to scroll down to where it says Install on Windows, Automatic Installation on Windows. So it's going to say you need to get Python 3.10.6. So we're going to open that in a new tab, and then we're also going to need to get Git um, there. So we'll come here, Python 3.6. That's the right web website. We'll come to Windows 64-bit installer. We'll do that. Um, they say you need to add it to your path when you um, when you install it. So you download it. You come to your downloads. And then you do uh, this. You open it, and there's going to be a checkbox right here that says Add to Path. You add that to Path, and then you can install it and that will install Python 3.10 which is what's necessary to run this um, this particular version of DirectML so we'll just wait while that installs shouldn't take too long installed, great and then we're going to install git, which is here. We'll come here, download the Windows setup, 64-bit. Do that. Just install, click through all these. Yeah, we can launch it. Let's get bash right here. That's our bash terminal. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to get clone this. So we'll come in here, we'll paste that in. If we do that, paste. So shift insert is how to paste into that. It's been a while. Okay, so that's there. And then essentially all we will have to do is come to the downloads where did we clone it into oh wherever you cloned it into which will be i think here um in your local in your c drive users and then whatever your username is it should be right there unless you changed like cd into download or something um, but if you just pasted it like i did from the tilde it should be right there under your user come here and then we'll go to uh, web UI user we'll go to the bat batch file one we'll run that and it should just uh, pull up this um, command executable and it's going to install a bunch of stuff uh, depending on how fast the internet is where you're at in your computer this will take this is the thing that takes the longest in this whole process um, installing everything but the maintainers of the stable diffusion web UI have this batch file that does everything for you so you just gotta sit back and wait while it installs everything everything looks like it's downloaded it'll give you a link to your local host usually it's 7860 the port that it starts it on uh, you can control click to go into it and then I'm just going to have my task manager here to show you how much um, dedicated GPU memory we're using when we're doing this. Um, we're going to create one image, it's 5 by 12 by 5 by 12 of a cat eating ice cream. And that should, um, that should do it. It should work now.
there we go. It started generating. Um, and we're already at 11 gigabytes of VRAM utilized. So it's definitely not as efficient as doing this in Linux. But it, if you don't want to run Linux and all you want to do is run Windows, this is an option to get Stable Diffusion running up in Windows with DirectML as your backend instead of the Rockham. If we go to, if we try to do two images of five, let's just do like 400 by 400. Let's see if that'll work. So if we try that. Um, we may run out of VRAM but I'm not positive. Yeah, look at that. Oh, never mind. That's just a count of two batches. Yeah, so you can get two of them with a batch count of two. Huh. But if you do batch size of two, what happens there? Yeah, so it looks like you're able to do that. Um, I'm even recording with OBS right now, so that may be using like a gigabyte of VRAM as well. So it looks like you're able to do that. Um, you can come over here if you wanted statistics on how fast those run. Um, 22 seconds, 17, you know, that kind of stuff. It'll tell you how many seconds per iteration or iterations per second you get with the, with the stuff that you're running. And so, yeah, that's one way of an easy way of getting um, stable diffusion running on Windows with an AMD GPU. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If it has been, hit that like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Have a great day.